Okay, so what's going on here is placement of power poles. And this is a power pole. And if you notice, the power pole has two sides to it here. One is for 110, the other is for low voltage. And you don't put the low voltage or the, uh, the 110 together. Uh, you put them separately. Now in this situation, we're just going to string out the cable on the floor. And the reason why we're going to do that is because the cubicle guys didn't do their uh, uh, cubes in time. And uh, this place opens up in two days. So you got to have uh, voice and data networks running and up and, and going. And uh, so that means that this cable is going to run across the floor. And I'm going to show it to you here shortly how it's done. But on the uh, cable side, if you see, there's a little power cord there. That's the power. It's going to eventually go into the cubes. And what's happening here is uh, we're pulling the, the computer uh, cable down the uh, pole. Do you want me to pull that down for you as you're feeding it? Sure. Okay. It's always nice to have two people when you're pulling cable. a lot quicker. Gosh, I've done this for so many years. It's actually fun when you get to the point to where the day goes quick. You get a lot of good exercise. It's... Is that it? Okay, so we're going to string that out to the very end of these tables. Really nice tables, by the way. They're ones that go up and down if you push the button goes up but we still don't have the walls of the cubes but this is the best you can do for today and they're moving in in a day or two so it has to be done it has to be taken care of so Just going to stretch them out and jack them with surface, surface uh, biscuits. You guys call them biscuits? We used to call them biscuits. Let's go over here where they've already done it. Here's a surface mount box. It has two jacks each in it. Notice that they're not labeled and there's no uh, writing on the cable because you're going to identify it later once the uh, um, once everything is done. You identify it first, then you test it. Make sure it's verified and you do 100% test. You don't do 100% test, you're going to miss things. So you want to do 100%. It's kind of busy here. We're trying to rush around to get these people installed. But these are called surface mount boxes. They have little stickies on the bottom if you want to stick them to something. Uh, and you can get them in different sizes. You can get single boxes, um, dual box, you know, a, uh, a, a two-port one. Uh, you can get them all the way up to six or eight ports sometimes if you need it. Sometimes it takes the place of a patch panel if you're only pulling, you know, four or five cables and you just put in a uh, surface mount box that, that uh, you know, only requires... Uh, only has that many ports. It's just regular jacks. They snap in there like they do in a wall plate. That's really a great idea from years ago uh, when they first came out with keystone jacks and keystone jacks describe the jack uh, design and it's universal. Uh, anyone who says they have a keystone jack, it should be universal. Then the other thing I like about it is the matching velcro. Um, I'm sorry, can't call it velcro. It's hook and loop. Uh, there's legal reasons why you can't call it Velcro. Um, if it's Velcro, you can call it that, but most people use just regular standard hook and loop. Um, 
tie wraps and it's nice it's not on there tight um, so it's not going to de deform the cable you don't want to deform the cable that's why tie wraps um, if you're going to use tie wraps you've got to be very careful not to deform the cable so that's where we're at You mind if I videotape you punching this jack down? No, yeah. sir. What's that? No, sir. Okay. Thanks for asking. How long you been cabling? Uh, about three years now. Three years? Now you can do that easily on this carpet because this carpet doesn't have much of a plush to it. Yeah. But I have a heck of a time when they, they come up with, uh, you know, the plush. Depending on the jack, sometimes they have a certain holder that pops in and yep. you can do it in your palm. Carpet like this, this is a luxury. <laughs> yeah, this is not very plush at all. Maybe an eighth inch? Yeah. Or even less than that. Just feels like you're right on top of uh, some... So how'd you learn um, low voltage? Um, trial and error. I've been a temp for about three years. I haven't got onto a company yet, but you know. So you subcontract with different companies, is that what it is? Uh, outsourcing, so it's like a, when I look for a, when a uh, contractor needs a uh, extra hand, mm -hmm. the uh, outsource. Don't have enough guys or mm -hmm. low on a project. No, you know I know people are going to be watching this video to see how you do this. Um, Hundreds of videos up on YouTube. Mm -hmm. That's how you uh, can learn about everything. Mm -hmm. Cabling. Yeah, I'm with CableSupply.com, so we have 270 videos. Probably and seen a couple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, surface mount box. Also affectionately called a biscuit. We used to call them biscuits. Yeah, we call them biscuits too. So that's not a bad deal, uh, doing subcontracting for other companies, huh? Eh, it's a, uh, you know. Works for you? It's a, uh... <laughs> You know, one of the things I like what you're doing is you got professional tools and you, you got on your uh, belt here, uh, tool, be tool belt. Yeah. Which really saves time. It's a shame they don't have the dividers in here. Um, I heard that they can't right now because the vendor is a little bit behind. And uh, and they're due to open in two days, am I right? Next Tuesday? Is that what it is? I think so. I'm going to stay uh, at this job. I'm going to hang here until you populate one of these biscuits. So how long did you say you've been doing this? Three years. Three years? You like it? Yeah. Keeps it. 
keeps me working. There's no shortage of uh, workout though for this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, good way to keep your mind going, doing stuff every day. Keep, if you're a person like me, then you can't do monotonous work. If you like working with your hands, it's a good little job. Yeah, I uh, always enjoyed it when I did it. I've been doing a lot longer than three years. Um, but I always enjoyed it. And uh, the day went quick and you got a lot of exercise. Yeah, definitely. You learn a lot about technology depending on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And they just snap together, huh? Yep. Yep, it's great. Well, thank you for time. It's kind of nice. This is one of the power poles that's going in the trash. Uh, it's made out of plastic. It has a divider in there, but the divider is not there right now, and it separates the. Uh, uh, the high voltage, well it's not really high voltage, 110 from the low voltage. But it's nice, you can just cut it with, uh, with any type of saw. We'll cut it, so it makes it nice. So when you're going to uh, test from the patch panel, is that later today? Uh, probably tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, it depends on how much we get done today. These to the uh, poles. So you think you're going to test and label tomorrow? Probably tomorrow. Maybe uh, see if I can come back, see the tests and the labeling and all. These are just uh, one each table, just one biscuit. One each except for the very last thing, two each. Okay.